Hello, in this video we are going to be exploring the topic of whether game developers should use AI when making games. Some people think AI is going to revolutionise gaming, while others see it as a threat to creativity and jobs. First of all, to be clear, when I'm talking about using AI in game development, I'm specifically referring to generative AI tools, things like ChatGPT, using Midjourney or Stable Diffusion for concept art, using AI voice synthesizers, and using AI assisted coding tools. I want to make this distinction as game developers have used AI in games with things like behavior trees for NPCs, using procedural generation tools, and so on. These aren't new technologies, and I've seen some confusion where some people lump everything together under AI. So, should game developers use AI? Well, it depends. Let's start with the practical side, because there are some legitimate use cases where AI can genuinely improve the development process. Prototyping and iteration. Early in development, if you need placeholder assets, temporary textures, concept sketches, and so on, AI can generate these incredibly quickly, letting developers test gameplay mechanics and ideas without waiting for final art. A solo developer or small team can iterate on game concepts much faster when they don't have to create all of the assets themselves. Coding assistance. If you're ever stuck on a problem or need help implementing something unfamiliar, AI can be helpful for asking it, how would I approach this problem? Or what's the standard way to handle this? It's kind of like having a knowledgeable colleague although you should always review and try and understand any suggestions before implementing them in your project. But it can be helpful to bounce ideas off and get assistance with. Localization. AI translation tools are getting better, and while they still need human oversight, they can dramatically reduce the cost and time of localizing games for global audiences if you get AI to translate things. Now, let's go over some legitimate concerns of AI because it is a hot topic and is affecting a lot of things. The most obvious fear is that studios will use AI to replace people. Why would you hire an artist when you can just use AI to generate something? What's the point of having writers? You could just get ChatGPT to write the dialogue. And to be honest, this isn't just people worrying. This actually has happened to some people in a few cases where we've seen some people cutting positions and instead investing in AI tools. Another problem with AI is it can kind of produce the same results. If everyone uses AI, everyone's work is gonna look the same. So AI is trained on existing work and tends to produce things that feel very generic and safe. This could lead to a case where all games start to look similar. Like you can kind of tell when ChatGPT has generated the art of something. The distinctive art styles that make games memorable come from human creativity. And it may be something that AI may not just be able to replace. There's also the ethical and legal dilemma. Most AI models are trained on data scraped from the internet, including copyrighted artwork and writing. Many artists actually never consented for their work being used this way. So it's kind of a gray area. And then there are the technical limitations. Whilst I do think AI can be a good tool, it can still make a lot of mistakes. It can be overly confident when it's wrong. So even work made with AI still needs human review and editing. So where does this leave us? Should we use AI? I think there's a responsible way to approach AI in game development that addresses most of these concerns. Transparency. If you're using AI in your game projects or something, just be upfront about it. Players and other developers deserve to know whether you're using AI. And studios that try to hide AI will often get caught. And I just saw two recent examples of this. Claire Obscure Expedition 33 is a game that received Game of the Year for 2025, although it was stripped of two awards by the Indie Game Awards after its use of generative AI hit headlines. Here's what happened. The game launched with some placeholder textures built with generative AI. The developer patched them out five days after release, they claimed, although it made it into the final game by mistake. This flew under the radar initially although it was later found. Another example of this is with the game Postal Bullet Paradise. This was announced, and when it was, fans accused the developer 
of using AI-generated art in the promotional materials. Initially, the developer of the game denied that generative AI had been involved, although fans provided more and more evidence, and eventually the developer did admit generative AI was used, and after all of the backlash, they ended up cancelling the game. And then furthermore, the CEO of Epic Games, Tim Sweeney, was caught in a bit of hot water after he said, game stores like Steam should remove the AI label. The AI label is where game developers, if they made a game with AI, they would state how they used AI to make the game. He was saying it didn't matter. Although people like to know how the product was built. And I don't think there's anything wrong with showing how your work was made. The way I see it is you can make a terrible game with AI and you can also make a good game with AI. It's up to the developer. And if your consumers want to know how you made your product, that's entirely fair. Just be transparent about it. There are games on Steam which have used AI which have positive reviews and vice versa. So I do think if you do use AI, be transparent about how you used it. And then finally, if you use AI, recognize it's a tool, not a strategy. The studios making the best games have always been the ones with strong visions and those that want to focus on producing a good game. AI can't just give you those things. It can only help you execute on your vision more efficiently. So here's my final opinion. I think game developers can use AI tools, but if you do, make sure you're transparent about it. I don't think AI is going anywhere. The technology is only going to keep on improving and becoming more accessible, whether we like it or not. Developers who completely ignore it might find themselves at a disadvantage. Even in the most recent version of Unreal Engine, version 5.7, they introduced an AI-like assistant. But I do want to share my own personal experience. So right now, I am making a game called Maha Island, and so far, I've not used any AI at all. The only place I was thinking I may use it is for some voice lines, but honestly, if I can, I'm going to try and see if I can get some real voice actors in the final game. Even the capsule art that I got, I just worked with an artist that I found on like Upwork, it only cost me like 60 bucks. And here's what I noticed about AI work. You can normally tell if you have a keen eye. I know some people can't tell, but normally I think if you look deep enough, you can tell whether something was made with AI or not. But here's the thing. Not everyone has extra money to spend. If you have a limited budget or literally no money and can't afford artists, then I can see how it'd be helpful to use AI. It's better than having nothing. I think the studios that do good with AI will be the ones that use it intentionally and are transparent about it. So, should game developers use AI? Yes, but use it responsibly, use it as a tool, and be transparent about it. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.